We need to talk about the housing market. We need to talk about the housing market being exactly what you and I expect. Frankly, folks, it is time to write aggressive offers. It's time to understand your buy box. It's time to understand inventory, days on market, price reductions, all of these things. And it is up to you to do the work. What I want to do is keep inspiring you to do the work and bring you more and more examples. Also, in this video, I am going to answer the question that I proposed to you a couple of days ago. And that question basically was, hey, if you and I are going to be talking one-on-one -on -one in three years, what would happen, have had to happen for you to be successful both personally and professionally? I asked each of you to think about that, which means I need to hold myself accountable. And at the end of this video, I will give you what I think would make me successful, uh, both personally and professionally. But more on that in a minute. I want to give you an example of a disrespectful offer. Folks, the one and only Derek Jeter, the captain of the New York Yankees. I believe he wore number two. He has had to sell a property that he owned for 50% off. Yes, folks, it is time for disrespectful offers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, Derek Jeter had listed a home for $14 million. I'm sure it was quite the spread. Do you know what price Derek Jeter just accepted on that $14 million home? Six. Point three million dollars, Folks, I have said for a long time, if you happen to be lucky enough to be shopping in the luxury home market, it is time to get aggressive. Now, we all know that the first time entry level, perfect, clean FHA, VA homes are tough in many, many buy, mark, or buy boxes. But again, the market we're going into, the summer months, the second half of the year, possibly a recession being declared. This is the time to do the work. You and I, if you're a real estate investor, or frankly, if you're a home buyer, you have been waiting for the market to slow down. You may not have known it. You may not have known you wanted the market to slow down, but trust me, you want the market to slow down. You want days on market to grow. You want inventory to grow. Not everybody has to sell their homes, but some do. In this case, Derek Jeter wanted to sell his home, and he took $6.3 million on a property that he originally thought was $14 million. He wanted out. That, folks, is a motivated seller. Now, of course, we are talking about, what would that be, an eight-figure property? It exists at all price points. There are people that have to sell. Maybe a busted Airbnb. Maybe a frustrated landlord. Maybe a divorce. Maybe this. Maybe that. Who knows? Do the work. Track days on market. Do yourself a favor, though. If you're fishing below the median, I would not write offers on you know, stuff that's listed like immediately. I want 30 days on market, 60 days on market. Again, this is all about you proving that you know your market and at what numbers make sense. It will take time. It will take follow-up. But it will work. It always does. Folks, I want to remind you, if you are a part of the school community or if you have not yet joined, you have a special treat tonight and tomorrow night. The one and only Dion. The Lazy Landlord is going to talk to you about uh, building a small portfolio, doing self-management, maybe the binder strategy. He is going to take your questions and help you move forward. Not to be outdone, the one and only Lumberjack Landlord will be talking to you tomorrow. Folks, this is what I hope to bring to you in the school community, is access to millionaires, where you can ask questions you can network with folks. You need to join the community. In fact, we are two, two people short of 150 members. 
I really think when we get to probably 150 or maybe it's 200, the community will just start even building more because we can do accountability calls once a week. We could do, you know, whatever. We could host stuff in the evenings, on the weekends. What I really believe about the One Rental at a Time community is it will take off and more and more people will host sessions and network, share stories, ask questions. So it's time to join, not to mention all the free stuff, the 10-week boot camp, buy box, creative finance, go get it. So let's talk about, what do we want to talk about? Let's talk about Great Britain. Great Britain uh, or the UK has seen inflation fall. Yes, UK inflation fell to 2%. The magic 2%. Yep, fell to 2%. It was 2.3 last month. It's not as rosy as it looks because if you break down inflation and go deeper, services inflation is still over 5%. And what they call core CPI was actually 3.5%. So, folks, just like the U.S., I think we are seeing deflation in goods, stuff. We are still seeing sticky inflation in services. But yes, folks, the U.K. printed 2.0 CPI or what they call headline inflation. The market in the U.K. is pricing in two cuts. One uh, in August and one in September. Yes, folks, it looks like the cutting has begun. What was it? The Bank of Canada uh, and then the um, European Union cut. So again, will the Fed hold? I think they will in July. I think they will in September. And then because they will be late. Why? Because they're always late. They will cut 50 basis points in November right after the election is my current guess. Let's talk about where millionaires are going, folks. I had never seen this survey before, but give them a shout out. The Henley Private Wealth Report. The Henley Private Wealth Report highlights where are millionaires moving. Well, folks, it looks like the UAE, the UAE has seen the top destination for three years in a row. Apparently, folks are going to the UAE to the tune of 6,700 millionaires. Who's losing? Great Britain. Great Britain is losing. They are lost a whopping 9,500 high net worth individuals. That is more than 2x the 4,200 that left the year before, folks. Yes, capital. This This is what politicians don't understand. If you are going to attack capital, you are going to attack wealth. This money has options. The wealthy have options. They can leave. (laughs) <laughs> they can pick up their chips and go somewhere else. So it looks like Great Britain has chosen a strategy uh, that is causing the millionaires to pick up stakes and leave. Uh, we got to give a shout out to Claudia Somm. Yes, the creator of the Somm rule. Uh, she is out being more and more vocal. She is out now saying the Fed is taking a big risk by not moving to gradually cut rates now. Folks, if you don't know what the SOM rule, it is essentially once the unemployment rate uh, ticks half a percent above, I think it's the 90 day, it might be the six month running average, we're in a recession. Right now, if our memory serves, the SOM rule is printing 0.38. That is the highest reading since the last recession call. So again, uh, Claudia SOM is warning the Fed, hey, You're looking in the rear view mirror. You need to look ahead. You have a big problem coming. Folks, I don't know if you know it, but today is Juneteenth, the celebration uh, of the end of slavery in 1865. Uh, It is a lot of things are closed. Mail, banks, um, the stock market, lots of things are closed, again, for the celebration of Juneteenth. Let's talk about home prices. Home prices are down, down, down in San Antonio, Austin, and Tampa. They are down 0.3% in San Antonio, 0.25% in Austin, and 0.16% in Tampa. These are, of course, month-on-month numbers. Why, folks? Inventory, inventory, inventory. Looks like inventory in Austin stands at 10,000. These are rough numbers. San Antonio up to 11,000, and Tampa at 15,000. Folks, don't forget that these three folks were up uh, between seven, wow, 70%. San Antonio up 40%. Austin, 
Austin up 70%, and Tampa up 60%. So yes, Austin is down a quarter of a percent, but they're up over 70% in the last couple of years. So they have a little bit of give back. All right, folks, let's do one more thing before I answer the question, what would I deem as successful both personally and professionally? Uh, Al- Avalon Bay Communities. 80,000 apartments, 80,000 apartments. They have reported a record low number of people moving out to buy a home. Makes perfect sense. It is unaffordable. And in many locations, it makes more sense to rent uh, than buy. And then finally, folks, the thing from the Census Bureau, 17% of renters have stayed in their home for more than a decade. I actually expect that statistic to go up, not down. Uh, just for reference sakes, 10 years ago, it was 14%. So it's not like it spiked a lot, but it certainly moved higher. All righty, folks. Now for the question, the question that I asked you. If you and I were to meet one-on-one three years from today, what would have had to happen for you personally and professionally to be deemed successful? So I took the challenge of sitting down and thinking how I would answer that if I was talking to you one-on-one. So let's do personally first. Frankly, I live a really good life. So in order for me to tell you that my personal life was successful, where I'm going with this personally is if I can, can, if I can repeat the last year for the next three years, I would deem that successful. Everybody in my family stays healthy. Everybody... Um, You know, we still travel, we still eat out, we still choose what we do every day. For me, that would be deemed successful. Yes, personally. Now, professionally, that I had to think a little bit more. Because again, I don't really see myself as an entrepreneur. I see myself giving back, trying to make the world a better place, trying to help 1% of you move forward. Because again, I know there's a lot of doomers who say don't do anything. So when I sat back about what I'm doing in three years from now, where I hope to be and I would call it successful, this is what I came up with. One, I would like to see my school community have over a thousand members. Today, we're at about 148. So I would like to see 852 more folks sign up in the next three years. Because of that, I believe the school community that I'm pushing We'll have four or five different events every week led by different millionaires so that you can choose which ones to go. The school community is the thing I think I will be most known for because what I see happening in the school community is bringing you people that have done it from all different walks of life that do it all different ways. And I hope you find your people. I hope you find your tribe. I hope you find the people that inspire you to do better. Folks, getting wealthy is not hard. It takes motivation. It takes consistency. It takes focus. And of course, it takes time. I hope to bring to you inside the school community millionaires that are contributing four or five meetings a week, every week, for the same low, low price of 20 bucks. Next. Um, I hope we have, you know, $10,000, $20,000 in free education in the course. Because one of the things that I hope happens when I bring on more and more millionaires to help you is they give us more and more free content that they normally charge for. I, for one, gave you a $1,000 boot camp. Ty gave you a six-hour masterclass on creative finance. Bill Allen gave you a three-day challenge to help your kids make money over the summer. I hope more and more people give to help, inspire. And again, you're not supposed to like everything. Everything is not supposed to help you, but some of it will. It's kind of like my second book. Nobody's going to like all 15 chapters, but if you can find the two or three that you want to reread, that's the goal. I will admit that I hope my YouTube channel is over 100,000 in three years. We are currently, I think we're 228 away from 60,000. 
So if you can help me get to 60,000, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, that would be great. I hope to be sending out 10 cards a week. And if you don't know what those are, I send out a golden ticket for your first deal. I send out a black card for your next deal. I even send out purple cards. If you are stuck in analysis paralysis and you need a little encouragement to write your first offer. I hope I send out 10 cards a week. I think the real estate market will be vastly different. I think there will be more and more people get it that inflation's a feature, not a bug. I think there will just be a lot more people taking action and moving forward. I do hope in three years we're hosting two ORAT events. Right now we host one event in Las Vegas on President's Day weekend. It's a two-day affair, 400 plus people. I hope in the next three years we can have a second one kind of like every six months. And truthfully, I hope the second one is in a fun location on the East Coast. Maybe Miami, for example. Uh, and then also, I hope to do maybe one or two small events in very unique locations. Maybe Hawaii, the Caribbean, Mexico, wherever. I hope that in three years, different millionaires and I are hosting events, just giving back, inspiring, and yes, having a little fun. I have thought about it, and hopefully in the next three years, I write another one rental at a time book, this time kind of what happened after retirement. Okay, Zuber, you know, you go to work, you have that bad day, you quit. Now tell us about the last seven years. What worked, what didn't. So I do think there's another book coming and hopefully published uh, by this time in the next three years. And then lastly, folks, I still hope to be bringing you the daily financial news five days a week live like this one, internet permitting. I hope to be producing at least 10 different pieces of content with my millionaire contributors. So at the end of the day, in order for me to be feel my professional life is successful, I simply have to be helping more people. I have to be attracting other contributors who are willing to give, willing to be a part of our community. I have to keep motivating. I have to keep being consistent. I have to keep finding out what you need, what you need to take action. And I think that will be successful. So again, folks, if you haven't done this already, go get quiet for a minute. Figure out if you and I were going to sit down in three years, one-on-one, -on -one, nobody around, no camera, what would have had to happen for you to be first successful personally and second, successful professionally. Folks, this took me probably over an hour to really get to a list that I felt good about. So folks, I hope you have an amazing day. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, join, you know, subscribe to the channel. Help me get to 60,000 and eventually 100,000. And then finally, go join school. Go join school. Um, you know, we're at 148. We're going to hopefully go into 1,000. That will allow more and more millionaires to contribute. Hopefully get to that five times a week thing. Take care. Have fun. Have an amazing day.